There is one tool in Illustrator that completely changed how I design, and I wish I learned it sooner. And I actually give a completely in-depth tutorial on how to use this tool over on Skillshare. So if you wanna take my free class in Illustrator or even Photoshop, you can click the links in the description. And if you wanna get free two months premium Skillshare where you can take over 25,000 premium courses, that link is in the description and the top comment as well. The tool that we're talking about is the Shape Builder tool. Now I've talked about it a lot. I use it in almost every flat design tutorial, but if you go back to the very first ever flat design tutorial on this channel, that would be the flat design tree that a lot of people have seen. You know, it's one of those things where I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I didn't know this tool when I did that tutorial, but everything since then has utilized the Shape Builder tool. The Shape Builder tool in your tool set looks like a couple circles with a cursor going through them. Before you select the Shape Builder tool, which shortcut key is Shift M, you need to select the shapes that you want to sort of slice and dice on your artboard. Once you have those selected, and then you select the Shape Builder tool, you're gonna see an overlay of each piece individually where those shapes overlap. And what the Shape Builder tool allows you to do is cut, add, or subtract pieces of those shapes wherever they overlap. And it works with fills and strokes. So this tool allows you to create shapes and not create them perfectly, but allow you to sort of cut within the outlines of another shape. That adds all sorts of different dynamics to how you can work with morph, cut, merge together shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Let's say I'm making a little cloud icon. Throw a couple circles together, merge them all together, throw a rectangle over the bottom of it, and then subtract that piece of the rectangle that overlaps, and it's gonna give me a nice flat line on the bottom of the clouds, and those circles are gonna be merged together on the top, and suddenly I have a little cloud icon, which by the way, is a tutorial on this channel, uh, how to make a flat design cloud icon. So the Shape Builder tool allows you to work with shapes so much easier in Illustrator. I wish I knew it sooner. It took me probably five years into my design career to happen across this. I don't even remember how, I think it might've been watching another tutorial, somebody brought open that tool, and I was like, oh, stop. Stop the video. What is that? I need to use that. I didn't know it existed. So I wanna make this video for anyone else out there who didn't know it existed, didn't know the power of it. And like I said before, I have a class in Illustrator on Skillshare. You guys can click the links. They're in the description, in the comments. Go take that class. There's a very specific lesson on the Shape Builder tool and five or six or 10 or 20 other things that I think you should know in Illustrator as a beginner or as a seasoned designer. That's it for this video. Really quick one. I just wanted to get this out there for anybody who's never heard of the Shape Builder tool. I still see comments on my tutorials where people figure out that tool exists for the first time ever and they have the same sort of epiphany that I had when I first found out. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, by the way, like and subscribe, you know, if you wanna support the channel. By the way, see that little bunny back there? That's gonna be in an upcoming tutorial. You guys might've seen me tease it on social media as well. Flat design tutorial coming up, cute bunny design.